It's the World Cup of Hockey 2016. Best of three final round from Toronto and game one between Canada and Team Sweden. One of these teams will call themselves World Cup of Hockey champions at the end of the best two out of three finals. The stage has been set. Let's go. Opening face-off is just seconds away. World Cup of Hockey 2016, best of three. The puck is dropped and we're underway with game one. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Angles. The Swedes leave their own zone. Sweden starting back in the defensive zone. once again by Jamie Benn. Pitching this one to Perry. Fires. Wonderful save. Fires. And it's driven away. Sweden's got possession in the defensive zone. Solid work defensively by Perry. Back on his stick. Let's the shot fly. Deflected off the blocker. Boy, what reaction. He's got it again. Good work by Crosby. Puck collected. Carlson's tripped and a penalty should be coming. The Canadians suffer a tripping call. Now this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. The key to their power play is to support all over the ice. Eddie, I'm with you on that. Nothing much at stake, just our reputations. Fantastic shutdown. It's cleared back, and this forces a recoil. And possession now on the pickup by Baxter. Terrific hand-eye. Gets in. What'll he do? An outstanding pad save. Lugged along the line. Chip to Marshand. That stick came up high, and so did the arm of the referee. Price at the bench. Delayed penalty continues. One team is going to be short from this. Let's see what the call is. Backstrom's going to the box for two minutes for high sticking. If he keeps his hands down, this is not high sticking. Both teams are short a man, more real estate per guy. They win the draw. Fires right in that catching glove. Good work. The Canadians have killed off the penalty. Now they go to the power play. Alex Petrangelo is only in his mid-twenties and already Olympic experience in Sochi. Not surprised, Doc. His ability to handle the puck, have patience with the puck on the back end, a right-handed puck-moving defenseman. Where can you get one of those? Alex Petrangelo, one of the elite defensemen in the National Hockey League. Canada is moving to center. Gets in. What'll he do? Great bad stop. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Ludquist is going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Possession established. Good reach there. Cleared back out. This will force him to drop back a lot. One-timer. Goal post. Good save there. Just under eight minutes gone. Nothing up on the score sheet yet. Good clean win on the draw. Got it all. That slight hesitation by the shooter allowed the goaltender to make a beautiful glove save. Team Sweden's done it. Back at full strength. Gathered in by Gabriel Landeskog. Good work with the stick by Duncan Keith. Slides it to the point to Jalmerson. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Pass cut. To Perry. From the outside. 
Paddled aside. Loose, but he throws it. Stoppage of play. The low shot's handled with the goaltender's stick. He deflects this out of danger in a hurry. Grabbed, the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. There is a slash on that play, and it is going to be called. The Canadians get their goalie to the bench for the extra man. Let's it go. Right at the net, and he got his pad on it. Grabbed by John Tavares. Big save. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. The Swedes are boxed for two minutes. The call is slashing. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. Team Canada's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Sweden's prevailed on another faceoff. Nice job holding the puck. Set out, and he'll make him chase it. And possession established on the pickup by Doughty. Moved up the side by Shea Weber. Slid back across from one point to the other. Taken to the corner by Steven Stamkos. Gathered up again by Shea Weber. The Canadians up the wing are moving the puck. Good job with the poke check. Skate kick out of the scrum. Sweden survived it. Back even. Score for Team Canada. Lundqvist's in pretty good positioning here. He's just beaten by a better shot. Up into the glove side, he can't catch up to him. Crosby's come up strong here for his team, ending a scoreless game. There was a feeling out process until that first goal of the game. Canada's got that neutral zone faceoff. He's in on an onside play. Gets by. Hammered. He scores. Shot that puck so hard, I only saw it when it finally came back out of the net. Lundqvist's not made much available for the shooter, but the area he did, up over his stick side shoulder, has been exposed. Just a bit under five minutes remaining in the period. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. Team Canada's got another faceoff win. Now it's directed to Daniel Sedin. Puck shot out into the bench. Stamkos can't do much wrong with the puck these days. His point streak will continue. We get a glimpse at it here as he has been a dynamic player both with and without the puck, whether scoring a goal or setting a play up. Off the faceoff, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. Pitching it to Daniel Sedin. Possession seized by Vlasic. Nice work by Daniel Sedin. Pass comes to him from the crease. Team Canada is continuing to probe up the wing. Gathered up again by Marchand. Pointed to Vlasic. Good quick poke check there. Not tested much. Good pad save. He slid across and got play stopped. Shots delivered quickly, but he smothers the bottom of the net so well, gets his legs out to make the stop. Near the last minute of the first, Team Canada's got that win. The Swedes find themselves with a minor penalty up on the board for high sticking. 
you carry your stick around like that more times than not, you're going to end up in the box. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this one. Good help for the center. Puck collected by Perry. Scooped up by John Tavares. They shot it back down. Now they can get ready for another rush. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Huge hit. Possession's gone. Thought he had 10 feet of clean ice. He only had five. There's the stop sign. Score! Late in the period. Couldn't get much later for that one. The goal scorer put that puck in a shooting position. Let it go and beat the goaltender clean. Lundqvist hoping that sound he hears off the post is going to be to the other side. This one hits the inside of the post and goes in. The Swedes got that faceoff win. Now what? The first period has ended, and a strong early lead has been built. Lundqvist had days when he's been spectacular, but this is not one of those. An example there as intermission begins. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? The Canadians deserve to be up comfortably like they are after the way they really dominated in the offensive zone. Period number two is underway in a bit of a lopsided game. Turned away. A little pass from his goalie here. One into another. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Big chance here. He scores! A phenomenal goal for Team Sweden. He looked to be cherry-picking in behind the defense, and it worked. He found himself on a breakaway. Price was not able to cover that low stick side, beaten pretty cleanly there. Team Sweden's clawed back to within two goals. Lots of time still remaining. Perhaps this will be momentum they can build before the second intermission. Canada's got another face-off win. Out in the slot. Goes to the backhand. They score! What a quick answer to that one. He had his choice, and he decided to go to the backhand. The goaltender looked pretty surprised here, Edzo. Good delivery, and the puck beats him on the low stick side. Team Canada's got a large lead in this game. Let's see if they can build on it, or whether they'll start to get conservative. The Swedes with a center ice faceoff win. Great glove save. Collected by Shea Weber. Snapped up by Doughty. Passing one off now to Tavares. Got a piece of it with the glove. Huge play. That could have been scary. And the loose puck taken by Keith. Pass attempt to Stamkos. Right near the line. Can he keep it going? Moving it to Silverberg. Propelled to Hagelin. Picked up in the attacking zone. Carried to the corner boards by Hagelin. The Canadians lug the puck in the defensive zone. Snapping a pass to Sagan. Sweden's looking to headman up the wing. 
Takes a shot. Tucked that right away. Directing that one to Sagan. Sweden starting back in their own end. Gets across, looks over his options. Big drive. He caught it and he holds on. Slid to Taves. With a wrister. Hedman's got it on his stick, trying to get it out of there. He's kept it in. Outstanding save off a chance. Trying to go to Strawman. To Backlund. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Terrific pad save. Marshan's lugging it in his own end, headed northward. Gains the zone. Marshan's lost that puck in the offensive zone. He stick handled himself into submission. Good stick there, so the pass is not complete. Shot. Didn't get through. Let's go, Rister. Good pad save. Skill play by Jalmerson. To Crosby. Crosby's been in all along. He scores. Crosby. presenting himself pretty largely here. However, there's still room for the puck to beat him. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. Swedes are in a hole here, so their coaches try to jumpstart their team by pulling the goaltender. Canada's been able to build a huge lead based on having the puck more off. Just over six minutes still to play in this period. The Canadians keep pulling away. They've got a four-goal lead now. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. 14 minutes, 59 seconds. Neutralized face-off win. Team Sweden's in their own end, and they've got it. Gains the zone. On to Backstrom. He scores! What a goal for Team Sweden there! Forsberg's body position allows him to get this puck to the backhand and put it in. Whoa, it looks like his trapper's got a hole in it there, Ed, so he gets beat low to the glove side. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. Nap by Baxter. By number 72. To Carter. The Canadians wheel it up the wing. Laid on to Carter. Puts one on. Up the wing, skating with it now. That one comes right on his stick. Not very long, but good. Puck settled down by Thornton. Looking to Giroux. Chip to Backstrom. Dogged determination there by Shea Weber. And the save there. Possession reestablished by Daniel Sedin. Oh, deflected away. Carried out of his own end towards center. Puck is thrown to Giroux. And offside is called on the play. Down to ringside we go yet again. Ray, what do you know? Team Canada's taken a real physical tact to this game. They've been up offensively with the body. They've opened up lanes and then got the puck to the front of the net as a result of their physical play. You're right, Ray. This is a physical game, especially played by the team that's up on the scoreboard. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. That's two periods in the books. One more to go, but a rest comes first. If you want to show us your accuracy, register now for our Shoot to Win contest, where one lucky fan will shoot a puck from center ice to start winning an exciting prize. 
The Swedes, with the scoring of this goal, have clawed their way back closer. We'll see if there's any more momentum from them when we come back in just a moment. Forty minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? The Canadians have had their way offensively, putting up a bunch of goals here through the first two periods of play. Let's see how they play it the rest of the game. Do they sit back or do they look to add to their comfortable lead? And the loose puck regathered by Crosby. Big chance! To Backstrom. Pitching this one to Erickson. Sweden's lugging it up the wing. Two guys together with force. Big force. I saw that one coming from a mile away. They battle on up the wing. Taken on by Perry. Two sticks together, they cancel. And now it's directed to Erickson. Great job on a cut pass. And the loose puck brought in by Jamie Benn. Scooped up by Drew Doughty. Outstanding play. Pitching it to Erickson. Propelled to Kruger. The Canadians love the puck in center ice. Oh, he shook right through, didn't he? Good move. Scrum over, puck kicked. Slid to Carlson. On to Kruger. Laid on to Doughty. The Canadians wheel one ahead up the wing. Let's go a wrist shot. Oh, that's a good shot. Great pad save. Gains the blue line. Good poke check by Shea Weber. Stared him down and made the save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. This is an excellent stop by the goaltender on the blocker side. The shooter takes a look, sizes the best place to shoot it, and tries to go on the stick side, but he's denied. Just under eight minutes have passed here in the third. The Canadians, a strong squad offensively, and it shows. Five to two, they lead. Passing one off now to Tavares. Puck picked up here. Let's it go. Oh, what a chance there denied. The pad flexed out. Pass cut. Into the attacking end. Shoots one. Off the goal post. Gathered up by Duncan Keith. Pass attempt to get slapped. Right in front, score for Team Canada. Taves release of the backhand surprised the goalie. Getzlaff's able to clear open ice and he lays a sweet saucer pass on the shooter's stick. Team Canada's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Nice fake, shakes him loose. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Moving it to Hornquist. That's a good solid hit, he'll feel that one. Almost out of nowhere, the defender steps into him, that hurts. Perry's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Possession taken up by Ben. Snapping a pass to Crosby. Drives to the crease. A wonderful shot answered quickly. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Snapped off a wrist shot. Save. Into the corner with that pass to Hornquist. The Canadians are starting back in the defensive zone. And so there's an icing on this play. Markstrom's always had excellent leg speed. Here he makes a great pad stop. Just under five minutes remaining in the third. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. To Soderbergh. It's off the mark. 
you have to give yourself a chance. That puck cannot miss the net like that. Puck is grabbed by Perry. Looking to headman up the wing. Smart recovery by Vlasic. Loose puck gathered by Landeskog. Puck covered, whistle blown. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. Used the stick well, didn't he? That one by Doughty. And the puck gathered in by Shea Weber. Directing that one to Tavares. Nicely into the zone. He's in! We are in the last minute of regulation time. He's going to skate it on back now. Sweden's carrying on up the wing. Zone to zone to Sagan. Score! He got iron with that shot. thinking he's got the angle covered and he probably's got most of it but it hits the inside of the post it beats him team Sweetens collected another victory on the faceoff and the arm of the referee comes up a penalty 15 seconds. And possession snapped up by Eric Carlson. And we get a penalty here. The referee strides over to hand it out. Team Canada's two-minute penalty is for cross-checking. If you want to see a cross-check, look at the player's hands and positioning on his stick. Face-off work. Weber's got it on his stick, trying to clear. And he takes the heat off by clearing. Trying to go to Erickson. Nicely into the zone. Gotta ice it here. Set on further. They'll have to return. Breakaway! Outstanding save by Markstrom. And he shoots. Team Canada's done a wonderful job in game one. The horn has sounded one more in game two or maybe game three. And they've got a magnificent trophy to take home. Sweden's been the favorite to win it all in the eyes of most. But they now find themselves one loss away from going home as second place winners. Look for an up in intensity at the start of game two.